I am shooting a video today because as much as I like going live, I feel like these videos offer more replayable value. I have a chance to edit them and that means a lot to me. I want to look back on these in the future, so I need an opportunity to put my thoughts together and make a reasonable presentation. I was live earlier with Casey Shaw and I did appreciate the opportunity to talk with him. He seems like a great genuine guy looking at data, which really interests me. I like to look at data and I believe he has the community's interests in mind, which I also appreciate. So that was great. Thank you for having me, Casey Shaw. I'm looking at the one day chart now and today we met a symmetrical triangle target that I calculated it October 22nd. You'll see that above as a uh, little yellow arrow right here. This is when I drew the triangle and that's when I drew this price target. And there were two, like seriously, like three breakouts of this triangle to the upside. So honestly, there was no reason to even begin to entertain the idea that the price could fall this far, but it did. And it was good to have this price target when the price did begin to fall beyond all levels of previous support and such, because I needed something to admit to, to I needed a, a data point to make an informed decision. Now this is a news driven event and so far that's all it is and that's what I'm trading on is a news driven event. So the panic and fear is never higher than the day of, right? So the volatility I think has manifested and until we get some evidence uh, or the panic and fear spreads like wildfire, I, I think the price is going to bounce from here. So I, I really am optimistic that we could see a bounce. I was able to use this tra this target to buy some deep out of the money puts this morning, and I made 250 bucks trading those puts, which I really needed to do. I need the cash. <laughs> if my $40 calls expire worthless this Friday, uh, I don't have uh, really much to work with anymore. So being able to get a cash position going now is, is really important. I gotta stay in the game. I gotta stay in the game. And if the price falls, I'm gonna make money on the way down. And I'm gonna be playing those bounces and waiting patiently for Moaz. Should that happen, as you know, I'm not a. If, if you've watched my stream or my channel before, you know I'm not, you know, a Moaz hyper. I do think that it's possible, and I do hope, and I am waiting for that. And I do have book entry shares at Computer Share in both AMC and GameStop, and I have those accumulating passively. I do know some people are upset, they don't like talking about playing puts or buying puts, playing the downside of the market, but I gotta tell you, that's just part of the game. If, if you want to play half the game, you're going to lose half of, the, half of the matches. So I play both, and that's what I did today, and hopefully in the future I can make money on that on the bullish side, because that's definitely my bias is bullish. What happened in the RSI is worth talking about. Today it dumped into the oversold re area. You see this right through 30, and I have this yellow line here. This is what—that's what I want to see. I want to see the RSI make it an acute rejection of that level. It's not important so much as when the RSI enters as it is when it exits that level. And the same is true for the top side at 70. You want to see how the RSI is interacting with these levels. That it reaches it is kind of like whatever, you know. It could oscillate in the oversold region for an extended period of time while the price plummets. So it's when it leaves and how it leaves that's really important. I'll be looking for that. Volume today was pretty low. 63 million. Okay, it's higher than previous days. And actually, it's pretty high for a while, right? It's it's actually... Pff, is it double our, our monthly average? It, it's it's not quite double our monthly average. But I think for an, for the height of this candle, the volume was pretty low. I went back and found the last $8 height candle we had, and it was on, uh, what was it, September 30th, and the volume was 102,800,000. So that's substantially more, so I'm not super worried about it. Stock's more volatile, means the price is more agile. That means we could actually see a bounce. We could see a bounce right back up to 35. I don't see why that couldn't happen. Honestly, it really could. It just depends going forward. This news event, which is all it is so far, I think this initial panic that this is knee jerk. And typically when you see those big pushes, things pop back. And we did see a 1.8 million one minute volume candle today towards the close at the very bottom at the intraday low or yeah, it was the intraday low. That tells me someone moved in there and bought that bought that price. That to me is very optimistic. <laughs> so I'll let that out. 